Aware is stillness is meditation. Remember, when you are aware of your stillness, you have entered the process of meditation. Drop all old ideas of meditation that just sitting underneath a tree in a yoga posture is meditation. That is only one of the ways and may be suitable for a few people but is not suitable for all. For a small child, it is not meditation. Instead, it is a torture. For a young man who is alive and vibrant, it is repression and cannot be meditation. Maybe for an old man who has lived, whose energies are on decline, sitting silently under a tree, maybe meditation. People differ. There are many types of people. To someone who has low energy, sitting underneath a tree in a yoga posture may be the best meditation. Yoga posture is least energy expensive. When the spine is erect, making a 90 degree angle with the earth, your body spends the least energy possible. You conserve the energy. If you are leaning towards the left or towards the front, then your body starts spending more energy. The gravitation starts pulling you downward and you have to keep yourself. You have to hold yourself so that you do not fall. This is the expenditure. An erect spine needs least energy. Also, sitting with your hands together on the lap is also suitable for low energy people. Because when both hands are touching each other, your body electricity starts moving in a circle. It does not go out of your body. It becomes an inner circle. Instead of energy moving out, it begins to move within you. Remember, energy is always released through the nerve ends and it is never released from round shaped objects. For example, your head cannot release energy, it contains it. Energy is released through the fingers, the toes of the feet. In a certain yoga posture, the feet are together, so one foot releases the energy and it enters the other foot. One hand releases the energy and it enters the other. You go on taking your own energy. In the process you become a cycle of energy. It is very relaxing. The yoga posture is the most relaxed posture possible. It is more relaxing than even sleep. In sleep, your whole body is being pulled by gravitation. When you are horizontal, it is relaxing in a totally different way. It is relaxing because it brings you back to your ancient days when man was an animal, horizontal. It is relaxing because it is regressive and it helps you to become animal again. This is the reason that in a lying posture you cannot think clearly. Try it. You can dream easily, but you cannot think easily. For thinking you have to sit. Many times when you have to think or answer someone and you are lying down, someone asks a question. You sit first and then answer the question. The more erect you sit, the better is the possibility of thinking. Thinking came when man became vertical. When man used to be horizontal, dreaming was there, but thinking was not possible. So when you lie down, you start dreaming and thinking disappears. It is a kind of relaxation because thinking stops and you regress. The yoga posture is a good meditation posture for those who have low energy, who are sick, 
who are old and who have lived the whole life and are now coming closer to the end of life. Thousands of Buddhist monks have died in sitting lotus posture because the best way to receive death is in the lotus posture because in that posture you will be fully alert and because energies will be disappearing they will be lessening every moment death is approaching in a lotus posture you can keep alertness to the very end and to be alert while you are dying is one of the greatest experiences the ultimate in orchids and if you are awake while you are dying you will have a totally different kind of birth you will be born awake one who dies awake is born awake in the next life one who dies unconscious is born unconscious again one who dies with awareness can choose the right womb for him he has a choice because his awareness has earned it the man who dies unconsciously has no right to choose the womb in that case the womb happens unconsciously purely out of accident the man who dies perfectly alert in this life will be coming only once more because next time there will be no need to come back just a little work is left and other life will do that work for one who is dying with awareness only one thing is left now he has no time to radiate his awareness into compassion next time he can radiate his awareness into compassion in immediate ways and unless awareness becomes compassion something remains incomplete this can happen in many ways this is the reason there is one more life running jogging dancing swimming cooking anything can be a meditation whenever your body mind and soul are functioning together in rhythm it is meditation remember this togetherness or harmony will bring the fourth dimension in and if you are alert that you are doing it as a meditation and not as a part in the olympics but doing it as a meditation then it is tremendously beautiful this is why i introduce you to many techniques running jogging dancing swimming cooking anything can be a meditation in the book meditation the way to self realization i have introduced all kinds of meditation and even meditation for children those who enjoy swimming they should go for a swimming meditation those who enjoy running they should run for miles each has to choose activity according to his need and interest and then one day this world can be full of meditation this is why i am introducing you to cooking cooking lovingly cooking meditatively and that is our slogan if we give only one fixed pattern of meditation then it will be applicable only to a few people this has been one of the problems of the past fixed patterns of meditation are not fluid like they fit certain types and all others are left in darkness the effort of the master is to make meditation available to each and everybody whosoever wants to meditate meditation should be made available according to his nature if he needs rest that rest should be his meditation and sitting silently doing nothing one day the spring comes and grass grows by itself that will be his meditation we have to find as many dimensions to meditation as there are people in the world and the pattern does not need to be very rigid remember no two individuals are alike the pattern has to be very liquid 
so that it can fit with each individual. In the past, the practice was that the individual had to fit with the pattern. With the changing times, the change has to be made in the path. Only then a system or a path can remain alive. Now the individual has not to fit with the pattern. Instead, the pattern has to fit with the individual. There must be respect for the individual and this is absolute. I am not much concerned with means. Means can be changed, arranged in different ways, in myriad different ways. The meditation techniques that were not known or being made available. Man could not conceive of cooking, running, jogging, swimming as meditation. I introduce to you cooking as the means of meditation. Vigyan Bhairav Tantra explains 112 techniques of meditation. There are so many techniques of meditation going on here. There are enough opportunities and choices for an individual to choose from. These techniques are like million doors of God's temple and you should be surprised also that there is a special door only for you and for nobody else. That is God's love and his respect for you. You will be received through a special door, not through the public door. And you will be received as a special case. But the basic fundamental is, whatsoever the meditation be, certainly it has to fill this requirement that the body, mind and consciousness, all three should function in harmony with one another. Then suddenly one day the fourth dimension, the dimension of witnessing has arrived. You can call it God, or Nirvan, or Tao, or whatsoever you may like. But that is what it is. That is why I introduce you to the dimension of cooking as a means to create harmony between your body, mind, and consciousness so that one day you can attain to meditation. Only this much.